All right, welcome to the hard iced tea taste test ranking one through five, all the iced teas I have in front of me. Let's go over a couple housekeeping items that I know I'm gonna get comments on. Um, wrote them down, hoop tea, couldn't find it. Couldn't find it anywhere. Went to three different places. Rye Brew, Go Puff didn't have it. Uh, Peddler's Beer down south though didn't have it. Haven't had it since the beginning of the summer, supposedly. Not the greatest business tactics from Hoop Tea. People were telling me you gotta get Hoop Tea in this, especially because CIO and Ice Tea aren't Hoop Tea anymore. Sorry, Hoop Tea wasn't there. Not the best business decision, I think, in the summertime to not have uh, an iced tea that people drink all summer. CL Spike Tea. I know everyone's gonna say, hey, you got the peach in here. I understand. But think of it as like the control. If I didn't have the CL Spike Iced Tea and I had the Cape May Shore Tea, which is a peach hard tea, I would have known exactly that it was the Wawa peach tea right away. I don't wanna be biased as an unbiased uh, investigation. Deal with it. Um, the contraption. This is our behind uh, blind taste test kind of contraption. So any engineers out there, I went to school for marketing. I built this in like two minutes. Engineers are all getting overpaid like Dick Castellanos. Um, let's get to our contenders. We have Seattle Spiked Peach Iced Tea right here. This is 6% made with vodka, black tea, peach, and lemon. We've got everyone's favorite, the new one, the new gun, C Short Tea. Short Tea, four and a half percent Cape May Brewing and Wawa collab. This is just a regular hard iced tea. Seattle Spiked Iced Tea has vodka in it. This one's just a malt beverage, I think that's what they call them. Surfside, this is from Stateside Vodka. One I'm really excited to try. This one's only four and a half percent alcohol. It's stateside vodka mixed with iced tea. Really looking forward to uh, tasting that. A lot of people were DMing me that was gonna be the winner. And then, I mean, if you hadn't had one of these, you're, you're living under a rock. It's like the Larry Bow of, uh, of iced teas. It's been around forever. Five uh, percent, um, yeah, just a hard-nosed veteran of the game. Everybody who's watching this from the Northeast understands this. And then finally, the Young Gun, one not many people know about, the one that kind of packs a punch. Now, Fishtown Iced Tea, 9%. Vodka, rum, tequila, triple sec, iced tea, and caramel flavors, all in one small 12 ounce can. This one will put you on your ass a couple in. So, just to make this a blind taste test, I'm gonna ask my lovely assistant to come in, put some straws in here, rearrange them all around, and I'm just gonna turn my back. Come on, assistant, come on. in the middle. That's what she said. Doing all right, everybody? Good. Good? Good? All right. So here we go. Jesus Christ. All right. One has lost a lot of its, uh, a lot of liquid. Uh, all right. Uh, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna rank them one through five. Uh, I'll get a pen. I'm gonna do best to worst. Then we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Best to worst. I'll try to remember which ones I like the best. Let's go. Jesus Christ. I think this one's Fishtown. I think this one's Fishtown. And I think this one's Sea Isle Spiked. That's, that's gotta be twisted. That's gotta be twisted. So what the fuck is this one? Then? So far, this one has a really good, 
carbonation. The carbonation really makes this nice. This might be Surfside. I'm gonna try this last one over here. That one sucks. Whatever that is, that's an early favorite, or at least favorite for fifth. Um, I need. I, th I think I like these three the best. I'm gonna try this one again. That's really good, whatever that is. You're gonna need a control, so make sure I should add water. That's really good, that's number one right now. That one's like, that might be a peach. I'm gonna say this is light, and this is the Wawa short tea. I don't know why I'm guessing all these, it's not part of the thing. This one's definitely number one. This one's two. This one packs a punch. All right, so number one right here, number two uh, directly in the middle. That might be, uh, see, I've never had any of these at Twisted Tea. I'm gonna say, I like this one, number three, over this one. This one has more of a little peachy flavor. This one's not enough peach, number two. This one absolutely sucks. So I'm gonna, okay, let's do this. Number one. Uh-oh. Number one is the, Jesus Christ. All right, I'm taking the straw. Holy shit, the short tea. I, I did not expect to like the short tea. This one, short tea number one is amazing. Like, I don't think you could have six of them, but uh, damn, the carbonation mixed with the peach, now that I know that. I mean, this, this one doesn't even sound, feel like it has alcohol in it, so. Short tea, number one. Number two was in the middle. Another small one. Okay, fish town. Jesus Christ, these straws. Um, fish town iced tea, number two. Really, really good. It's not, what I was really worried about is it had triple sec tequila, vodka, and sometimes that's too much. It's like drinking gasoline in a, in a can, but it's not overpowering. Fishtown iced tea, number two. Number three, this had to be twisted tea. All right, twisted tea. I mean, all reliable. It's, it's, it's not good, it's not bad, it's not great. It's right in the middle. It's like Darren Hall hitting in the middle of the lineup right now. Like, when you need it, I hope it's there. Twisted Tea, number three. Number four, Sea Isle Iced Tea, number four, Peach. A little, not enough carbonation. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. It's, it's made with vodka, black tea, peach, and lemon, so why would there be carbonation in it? But um, yeah, I mean, now what this is better than the Wawa is you could drink these for longer periods because it isn't so overbearing. Like you'll get diabetes from the Wawa Cape May Brewing one. I don't think, I would get diabetes, but uh, longer term diabetes, like when I'm like older. So that means the last one is Surfside, which people, now I'll take it with a grain of salt. A lot of people from Delco told me this, they like this one. So, I mean, it's just trash taste, trash people. So uh, maybe that's why I don't like it. But uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I got a bad taste, but it just wasn't that good. Now it's flat. It's iced tea, vodka, can't taste vodka, can't take iced tea. I mean, I could give this to a small child and I wouldn't feel like they would get drunk off this. So iced tea, Coming in fifth. Um, really wish we had a hoop tea. Like I said, 
I don't know if they need some, if, if anyone needs a job, I would apply to Hoop Tea because they obviously need people to uh, distribute and uh, make their alcohol. But we've got Short Tea Cape May. We've got Iced, uh, Fishtown Iced Tea. We've got uh, Twisted Tea, Sea Isle Iced Tea. Surfside coming in last. I'm sure that's gonna upset a lot of people. But the good thing about it is everyone has different taste buds. So go out, get all five, support these. They're all local. I even think Twisted, Twisted Tea is local. And uh, tip your bartenders. That's the official Philly hard iced tea review. Taste test, whatever. Which one did you spill? The one that was on the riser. <laughs> you gonna turn that off? What are you on, Bravo's the cocktails? 